Hi everybody, this is You Got a Friend in Me by Randy Newman in Toy Story 1. You got a friend in me You got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and you're miles from your nice warm just remember what your old pal said Cause you've got a friend in me da 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 You got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got troubles I got them too There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together, we can make it through Cause you've got a friend in me You got a friend in me Some other folks might be A little bit smarter than I am Bigger and stronger too But none of them could ever love you The way I do It's me and you, boy as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. Oh, you've got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Hi students, okay, so you should have this two-page song here of You've Got a Friend in Me. So let's look at the first page. Now, there's a lot of a lot of chords in this song, so it's gonna take you a while, but the first chords we're gonna learn how to play are right here. And you see how they all are shaped the same with fingers one, two, and three. One they just start up here and then they slide down and down and then start back up. So that's gonna be real easy. They have funny, fancy names. They're called C6, B flat major 7, and B7, and it goes back up like that. But don't worry about that. Let's just learn how to play it with our fingers, okay? Okay, so we're ready. We're going to start on part one of You've Got a Friend in Me. So you'll notice up there right underneath the title where it says You've Got a Friend in Me, the first chords are chords you already know. ba bum ba bum 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 ba dum bum bum Okay, so that's a C. A G7, an A minor, an F, and back to C, and then the G7. Okay, now these fancy chords with the fancy names that are right across the top. So if we can zoom in here, Mrs. Rowden, second grade string on the one, two, third space, third fret. Then the next string, that's the third grade string, we're on the fourth space. And the fourth string, we're on the fifth. And there's a little dot probably in your ukulele. See how my fingers, they just look like little stairs going up. Bing, 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 like that. And notice, I got to make sure I drop my wrist like that. Swing my hand. Swing my hand out. If I go like this, it's going to be super hard and sound bad, okay? So always make sure you do this. Check this about every 10 seconds. Now watch this. You do that. A pretty sound and then I slide everybody down and then I slide down one more time and then I slide back up so let's try that okay so you got your little stair steps here starting on the second grade string on the third space I'm gonna do that a few times okay My thumb moves along with my hand. See my thumb moving there? Release a little bit. Let's try it two more times, up and down. I love that sound. One more time. All right. Back to that chord called C6. 
Okay, guys, now we're going to go through the song one little bit at a time, all right? So the first part is called the intro. It's right up there where it says, You've Got a Friend. And the chords go kind of fast. Now, we have a saying that we always say, Go slow and learn fast. Everybody say that. Go slow and learn fast, okay? So our first chord is C. Now watch this. I slide this finger down, and now it's ready for G7. Okay, so that's the secret to go from C to G7. Slide that finger down. Now pause the tape and do that six times for me, all right? So the fastest way to learn this song is just go two chords at a time. So we did C, G7. Now watch this. Now I go from G7 to A minor. This finger here, my middle finger, all he has to do is go like this. So from G7 to A minor, okay? So try that with me. Try that about six times. G7. Like that, okay? All right, so that was our next chord. Now after that, you've played that A minor. Now watch this. I leave that finger there, and I bring this finger on the second grade string on the first space, the first fret. And that's F. Look how easy that is. A minor. F, A minor. Isn't that nice how easy that is? Always look for similarities between chords. That makes it so much easier when you look for similarities. Okay, so A minor to F. And then guess what? We go back to home base, like home plate in a baseball game. C again. And then we slide that finger down to G7. See that? Do that again. And when we put it all together, it sounds like this. Then, you got that? Now we'll go to our new fancy chords. Now, when you put the whole introduction together, I'm going to do this really slowly. This is what it's going to sound like, okay? So we start in that C, and I'm going to strum. This too ready and I go. Ba bum ba bum 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 ba da 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 new chords. Bum bum. Yeah, that's how it's gonna sound. All right, now we're gonna go into part two of the song, and this will be the very first verse where it says, "You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me." All right, now we're on the verse. Okay, so our first chord is C. Now we're going to go one chord at a time, and I'm going to show you the similarity between each of these chords so that it makes it easier for you to play it. Okay? So I'm not only going to show you how to play the chord, but I'm going to show you how to get from one chord to the other one. And most lessons out there don't show you this, so this is very, very important. Okay? <laughs> so here's a C. Everybody play a C with your ring finger. It's got to be your ring finger. Can't be one or two. It's got to be three, and you'll see why. There's C. The next chord is G7. So to get to G7, I just slide this guy down. Can you do that? And then I put these fingers here. See that? See that? And then back up. So let's go from C to G7. Back to C. Back to G7. Back to C. Down to G7. Are your fingers, are your puppies starting to get used to it? Fingers are like puppies. You just got to do it over and over and over. And just like puppies, pretty soon they'll learn. And they'll be wagging their tail and smiling at you with their tongue hanging out. <laughs> okay, so that was good. C to G7. Now, now we'll go to G7. Okay. And back to C. Now watch from C, now we're going to go to a chord called C7. And what you do, instead of using this finger now, we're going to go way down here to the corner with my first finger. So let's go C with my third finger, down to C7 with my first finger. It's on the same string, first grade string. Hear the difference? Big difference in the sound, huh? 
Okay, now we go from C7 to F. You guys all know F already. Watch this. This finger, watch what it does. C7, he's going to go like this. Up. He went upstairs, like this is going upstairs in an elevator. He went from here to here. And then this guy jo joins in. Yeah, so C7. He goes upstairs. F. C7. F. You know those two chords really well, huh? And then after that, he goes to C. So that first line goes like this. C. Slide it down. The G7. Back to C. C7. Now he goes upstairs, up the elevator. F. And back to C. All right, that's your first line. So the first line sounds like this. You've got a friend in me, C7. You've got a friend in me. That's the part you do now, okay? Okay, now we're going to go to the second line, and it says, when the road looks rough ahead, okay? Got a couple new chords here, but we're on C. Now we're going to go to F, which you guys all know. When the road, back to C. Are you good at going from F to C? C fingers one and two, and finger three is all ready to go. Mm -hmm. When the road looks, now watch this. Um... Do you remember when we played G7, it was like this? Our next chord is not G7, it's E7. So here, watch this. We're used to going from C to here, but what we're gonna do is see this finger here? He's gonna move up there. That's all we had to do. It's just like G7, but you move this finger from the second grade string up to the fourth grade string. Okay? So we're gonna go like this, F, again, C, now here's that new one. And then the world's hardest chord, A minor, please don't cry. Finger two, A minor. And then it goes through that cycle again. F, back to C. Slide him down, and the finger goes up here for E7 on the fourth grade string. World's hardest chord, A minor, please don't cry. And then we go back to F again. See how the cycle goes? We're doing this three times. There's that new E7. A minor. Now watch this. I'm going to go to a chord called D7. Leave that finger there. A, a minor. This ring finger, I'm just going to put it on the second grade string. On the same fret this guy's on. See that? That's a D7. So let's go from A minor to D7. A minor, D7, three more times, A minor, say it, D7, A minor, say it, D7, D7, now watch this, I love going from D7 to G7, both these fingers are going to hop up and move downstairs, down the elevator, doink, and there's G7, look at that, D7, they both hop down like bunny rabbits. G7. D7. G7. D7. Hop downstairs like bunny rabbits. G7. And then back to C. How is that? It's okay to go over it and over it and over it. Okay, you're doing good. We're almost done with the verse. Now we're down to the last two lines. So you already know D7. We just went over it. G7, C. Now, A7. A7, here, I just drew it in here. Really easy. That's on the one, two, third grade string on the first space. I'll show you. Right here. Yeah, that's an A7. So we go, you've got a G7 friend in me. From C to A7. Can you do that with me? C with finger three, then finger one. I know it feels weird at first, but your puppies are gonna get used to this where they really like it. C, A7. When you learn how to play this, you might become the most popular kid in your class at school. Or if you're homeschooled on your network. Look at that. Back and forth. 
back and forth. C, A7, yeah, one more time, C, A7, and then you see on the last line of the verse, it says, yeah, you've got a friend, so after that, we go to look at D7, see these two fingers two and three, ready, doink, they're on strings four and two, you've got a, bunny rabbit jumps down, friend in me. And then you, it's like you go back through the, the introduction again right there. All right, you guys. Now, so you've learned verse 1. Now, that's a lot of work, and it's going to take you a while. The way you want to do it is just one line at a time. Like, do that line. Do it like five times in a row. Do it until you forget how to do it wrong. See, that's the key. That's when you know you really know it, is when you forget how to do it wrong. That's what the pros do. You guys ever heard of a guy named Kobe Bryant? He was one of the best basketball players that ever lived. He used to go into practice early, and he would shoot 800 shots before all the other guys got there until he would forget how to do it wrong. That's why he got so good. And we're going to be the same way, because you're going to be super good. You're going to be the best musician in your school. So we do one line at a time, over and over and over, and then over. Okay, now, that was the first verse. The second verse starts out saying, you've got a friend in me, you got a friend in me, you got troubles, I got them too. Same thing as the verse, first verse, same exact chords, all right? So that's pretty easy, huh? Now, we come down to this part of the song at the bottom of page one, and it's called the bridge. I don't know why they call it a bridge. You can't drive a car over it, but they call it a bridge, okay? Some people call it the middle eight. Who cares? Now, look at this, F and B7. We did B7 up here. It was that middle chord where finger number one was on the second space. Remember that? Yeah. So F and B7. So I'm going to show you how to get from F to B7. And we're going to do these chords up there in this part down here. So F to B7. You ready? Okay, so the bridge is going to sound like this. It's going to start on F. It goes, some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger, too. I know that sounds fancy, but it's really easy. So let's go to F. Some other folks might be. Now, here's how you go from F to B7. Slide this finger up one space. And then put your little stairs on here. Hear that? So F. Okay. Keep finger number one. Slide him up there. Do the little stairs. A little bit smarter than I am. Now watch this. Everybody slides up toward your chin. Isn't that easy? Let's do it again. F. Some other folks might be. Here comes B7. A little bit smarter than I am. Slide up. Bigger in. Stronger. Two. That's fun. I could do that all day long. Okay, let's do it again. F. Some other folks might be, slide that finger up, do your little stairs, a little bit smarter than I am, slide up, bigger, stronger too. You know anybody that's bigger and stronger than you? Me too. One more time, because I'm enjoying it so much. Woo! Here we go, F. Some other folks might be, slide finger number one up, do your stairs. A little bit smarter than I am. Slide everybody up. Bigger. Slide them down. Slide them back up. Isn't that great? Okay, we're halfway for the bridge. Now we turn the page. And there's B7 again. And we get to play them a long time here. Okay? Got a couple other chords, but none of them are hard. So B7. But none of them. So here's that B7 where you slide this one up to the second space. Put down your little staircase, and we go like this. But none of them could ever love you. Finally, we get to stay on one chord for a while. But none of them could ever love you. Now, the next chord is this. You see these stairs we're doing here? Watch, we're all, they're all going to jump down toward the floor. They're going to go downstairs in all their different elevators. Three different elevators. One, two, three. See that? B7. 
to E minor. Isn't that easy? You just got to teach your puppies to do it. Let's do it five times. Say it, B7, E minor. B7, E minor. B7, E minor. B7, E minor. One more time. B7, E minor. Okay? So we're going... Um, but none of them could ever love you the way I do. Here's that A7 again. See that one? And then we go to we go to D uh, D minor. You remember our chord F? Well, it's just like F, except you're gonna add another finger. This one right here. He's got to go underneath. Look at that. He's got to tuck right under there. Here's F. Here is D minor. Really similar, huh? So again we go. But none of them, B7, could ever love you. They go downstairs the way I, that's E minor, do A7. Now this finger on it from A7 to D minor, he goes down the elevator. See, this is the elevator shaft. He goes down here. That goes there like you're playing an F, but add that finger. You gotta tuck him under there. Me and okay, so that was D minor. Now from D minor to G7, watch this finger stays put. This finger moves down the elevator shaft. One string, and this guy goes here. So let's go from D minor to G7. D minor. The G7. This song might take you three or four weeks to learn, you know? It took me a while to learn it, but that's okay. It's worth it, huh? How long did it take you to learn how to walk when you're a little baby? More than one week, I'll tell you that. How long did it take you to learn to use a spoon when you're a little baby? More than a week. It's okay. The best things take a while to learn. And then they make us the happiest after we learn how to do them because we stuck with it. And babies don't know how to quit. They don't understand that concept. So let's not quit. Let's just keep going, because you're going to do it. Everybody say this, I can do it, because I just did it. Okay, there's A minor. Looks a lot like F. This guy goes down here. All right, that's the bridge. Okay, now we're on the last verse, okay? And it's a lot like the other verses, verse 1 and 2. C, and as the years G7 go by, C7, you already did that. So go through that line again a few times till you get it right, like at least three times in a row. And then we go to our old friend F, our friendship will never die, back to C. Now here's where it starts to change. It goes F, you're gonna C, C, it's R, and there's E7, remember E7? Our destiny and A minor is on the eight on the other side of on the other page, and then it goes D seven. You've got a friend G seven in me, down to A seven. D seven again. You got a friend in me, and then it goes. Ba da 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 do. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do that in another, another spot. So the third verse, here's how it sounds. One, two, three, it goes. Through. And as the years go by, a friendship will never die. See, and here's where it changes. You're going to see it's our destiny. See, there is E7 and A minor. Be sure you do that again and again. And then we go to D7. All I do is drop this finger onto the second grade string. You've got it. Now these hop down like a bunny rabbit. Friend in me. And down to A7. D7. You've got a bunny rabbit jump down to G7. Friend in me. Now, it says there on your page to play the melody here. And so the chords you play during that melody are C, 
G7, A minor, F, C, slide it down to G7. And our last chord is gonna be C7. Way down in the corner like that, all right? All right. Okay, now the part where we play the melody, the individual notes. Now these notes up here, that's those of you that might play violin or flute or piano or something like this, this is what you'd look at for that. But this is how we look at our ukulele. It's called tablature. They mean the same thing. It's just written in a different way. So we're going to start in the second grade string on the third space. Ba 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 da 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 like that. So I'm going to show you how I play it now. Okay. All right. So those first threes, you'll notice one of the threes, the first one's on the second grade string. The next three is on the first grade string. I like to make my finger go flat like that. But you might want to use two fingers. So I go three, three, five, six, seven. Oops. So just find the way that's most comfortable for you to do that. This is pretty advanced. So you're going to need to do that a whole lot of times. That's the hardest part of this. Okay, so three, three, five, six, seven. And then you go back to three, three, oh, six, five. And then you go three, three, two, one, oh. Again, three, three, five, six, seven. Three, oh, six, five, three, change strings. Three, two, one, oh. So go over that a whole bunch of times. Here it is one more time. Three, three, five, six, seven. Three, oh, six, five, three, change strings. Three, two, one, Oh, and when you hit that O, oh, play the chord C7. All right? So this is one of those songs that will take quite a long time to learn how. But remember, go slow and learn fast. Just one, learn one line at a time. And pretty soon you'll have it, and you'll feel so proud of yourself. And you'll feel so good. And you're going to make many people feel good because this is such a good song. Now, remember to say this, too. Every time you learn one line at a time, when you get done and go, I can do it because I just did it. I can do it because I just did it. Okay. You know, I'm proud of you guys. Okay.